Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, basically, I'll be talking to you about how I passed the AWS Machine Learning Specialty Exam. Um, very, very tough but rewarding experience. Basically, I'll be walking you through the steps I took and how I got there, basically. Um, so, first of all, what is the AWS Machine Learning Specialty Exam? What is that? Like, what is that? Um, basically, it's an exam um, created to, to, to validate your skills in being able to build, deploy, and maintain machine learning solutions in the AWS um, cloud. Obviously, like machine learning is a thing in 2023. Um, I've been looking into the area for a while, so it should just make sense for me to like go get the certification. So like I mentioned, it gives it test you on um, knowledge of like okay the the end to end workflow of building like a machine learning solution in AWS. In terms of like length it took me, it took me about like hmm, like eight weeks to prepare for the exam. Now, right now I'll just be walking you through some of the steps I took. So the first thing is to um, get like a good like video course to like watch and understand like basically like how ML is done in the AWS cloud ecosystem. Um, the one I'll recommend because the course I took was um, with two different courses on, on a website called the Cloud Guru. It's now called Toro Sites. They have two very good um, AWS machine learning uh, courses there. So those are the ones I took and I found them really like super helpful. Covers like the end to end, um, the whole like syllabus end to end. Of, uh, because of NDA, I won't like be explaining everything, but um, that's the, that's the first thing I'll say. Um, the second thing that really helped me was doing like a lot of like hands-on labs, like getting your hands dirty. It's one thing to like learn about like all the theory and stuff, like that's great. But when you get your hands dirty, like you actually go out and like build the systems on the AWS cloud, learn about each of the services like lend the whole end-to-end life cycle from like data ingestion to data preparation to like training up to the point like model monitoring like all that end-to-end -end workflow building doubts on yourself like getting your hands dirty and labbing up and that that will really like solidify all the theoretical knowledge that you, like you've learned um the thought now is like get like a relevant like book so to help you like to aid as your study guide so the two ones i use were the aws machine learning study guide I'll put the, <laughs> the link down below the link from Cybex. It's, uh, it's a really good exam. It has like practice questions and all of that. So um, I, I would strongly recommend it. The second one was the also um, an AWS certification machine learning study guide as well. I'll also put the link down below um, the, this video. So the fourth thing I would say is um, join my K community group, like a study group. So it actually like the the course videos you're learning from, they usually have like study groups you know, on in any of the platform where they like teach all these courses or via books or social media, or, like whatever social media your platform you're on, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, there are all these like study groups from people like trying to prepare for exams or just learning about machine learning. So I would say like if you're a beginner and you're trying to like get into it, that joining a study group would be like super helpful as well. Um, the next thing I'll say is um, do a lot of like practice questions. So after you've let, done all, like all the courses, like you've learned the videos, you've watched all the videos, you've gotten your hands dirty, you've like joined a study group and all of that great stuff. Next thing is to actually like understand like what kind of questions would they be asking? So what are you expected to know and all of that? So going through th those questions and then looking through the exam guide, I think I should have mentioned that earlier. Also looking like what is the exam guide? Like what are the domains that they're going to be asking questions? What services are going to be um, in the exam and stuff like that? That gives you uh, a good blueprint to be able to like boil down to like the details of what you actually need to do i think that's really really super important um knowing like the scope of work of what you need to study and what you don't need to study um that is really because <laughs> aws has a lot of ml services and new ones are always coming out like every day especially with um love this the new technology like large lagging models and all of that so knowing what's in the scope of the exam um it's super super helpful and then last thing i'll say is just study 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 like yeah, I know like everyone is busy, you have things we're doing, but you need to like create out time to actually like um, get, because once you get a certification, it gives you like this credential, like, you know, like, okay, um, whether you're looking for a job or you're trying to like increase your salary or trying to get a new job, whatever it is, getting the, the AWS to find machine learning security, especially in this market of 2023, like sets you apart. So I strongly, strongly recommend you look into it. So basically I want to make this video very short. If you have any questions, please post it down, um, down in the comments. I'm up, I'm posting a link to all the, the courses I used, the books I used and all of that. So hopefully you enjoyed this and then see you in the next video.